the season. Hustle that time defensively. Good steal. However, goes right back to LeBradford. Threw it away. Keith Williams' first shot of the year. Partially blocked. Kimbrough pulls it down for the Cardinals. Puts it back up. It is no good. And taken out of there by the Cowboys, Chris Gaffney. Oklahoma State has good athletes. They'll run with it. That's Richard Dumas, the six sophomore, and he scores the basket of the game, and a foul is called against the Cardinals. Well, here's a guy, Dave, that was the high school player of the year in Oklahoma a couple of years ago. Here you see him go right to the basket strong, get it down, and Tony Kimbrough gets the bump foul, and Dumas, who's averaging nearly 16 points a game and hitting 66% at the line, will try to give Oklahoma State a 3-0 lead. Missed it, however, there is Jordan on the offensive boards. Oh, my Jordan is 4-0 in favor of Oklahoma State. A little pressure in the backcourt by Oklahoma State. They'll try to begin the game in a sticky man-to-man. -man. Kenny Payne to Allison. High post. Right side of the key over to Williams. Bradford Smith running the low post, trying to post up inside. Kenny Payne shot no good. Corey Williams has it for Oklahoma State. Threw it away. But it was tipped by Tony Kimbrough. It's still, it'll belong to the Cowboys. Well, this young team for Leonard Hamilton at Oklahoma State, Leonard said they've been very inconsistent despite the fact they're four and one. The competition has not been that strong, but they certainly have been playing very loose and they have a lot of ability to get the job done. This will be a tough game tonight for Louisville. Allison going for the steal, trying to get it away from Thomas Jordan. Instead, picks up the personal foul. It's his first. It'll be the second of the game against the Cardinals. Well, Purvis leads the Cardinals in steals, but this time... The first two of the season. Heads up. Hustle that time defensively. Good steal. However, goes right back to LeBradford. Threw it away. Keith Williams' first shot of the year. Partially blocked. Kimbrough pulls it down for the Cardinals. Puts it back up. It is no good. And taken out of there by the Cowboys, Chris Gaffney. Oklahoma State has good athletes. They'll run with it. That's Richard Dumas, the 6'7 sophomore, and he scores the first basket of the game, and a foul is called against the Cardinals. Well, here's a guy, Dave, that was the high school player of the year in Oklahoma a couple of years ago. Here you see him go right to the basket strong, get it down, and Tony Kimbrough gets the bump foul, and Dumas, who's averaging nearly 16 points a game and hitting 66% at the line, will try to give Oklahoma State a 3-0 lead. Missed it, however, there is Jordan on the offensive boards. Oh, my Jordan. And it is 4-0 in favor of Oklahoma State. A little pressure in the backcourt by Oklahoma State. They'll try to begin the game in a sticky man-to-man. -man. Kenny Payne to Allison. High post. Right side of the key over to Williams. Bradford Smith running the low post, trying to post up inside. Kenny Payne shot no good. Corey Williams has it for Oklahoma State. Threw it away. But it was tipped by Tony Kimbrough. It's still, it'll belong to the Cowboys. Well, this young team for Leonard Hamilton at Oklahoma State, Leonard said they've been very inconsistent despite the fact they're four and one. The competition has not been that strong, but they certainly have been playing very loose and they have a lot of ability to get the job done. This will be a tough game tonight for Louisville. Allison going for the steal, trying to get it away from Thomas Jordan. Instead, picks up the personal foul. It's his first. It'll be the second of the game against the Cardinals. Well, Purvis leads the Cardinals in steals, but this time you could see with his left hand was pushing just a little bit, and that contact created the personal foul against Ellison. It is 4-0. Oklahoma State leading Louisville early in this basketball game in Freedom Hall. Corey Williams has to drop the ball off. Three-second violation against Oklahoma State. Cowboys started the season by losing the opener at Pittsburgh, but then playing at home. As you look at Denny Crum in his 18th year at Louisville, playing at home, Cowboys have won four in a row. Samford, Texas, Arlington, Chicago State, and Brooklyn. They've been at home for four straight. This is their first road trip since the opening game of the year, which they lost, kicked out of bounds. One of the keys we talked about, Dave, was Keith Williams working into the flow. You know, Louisville's been playing so well without Keith, but of course, he started every game last year. He has been practicing, so it'll be very interesting to see how things fit together for the Louisville offense and defense. Pass by Payne, partially deflected, gets it back to Ellison. Triple team. I believe it was partially deflected from behind by Byron Houston. Leonard Hamilton wanted a foul on the Bradford Smith. Taken away by Kimbrough. Louisville looking for its first basket of the game. Keith Williams looking for his first basket of the season. 
And he has it, and the Cardinals have theirs. It's 4-2, Oklahoma State. And now they have the chance to set up the press for the first time. Williams averaged 10 points a game last season for the Cardinals. Set out this fall semester. Academic ineligibility. Nice pass inside. Sure. Well, Houston didn't even bring Houston. Houston. it down. He's shooting 69% from the floor. And no wonder. Foul inside. Allison trying to get open. He's being held by Jordan. That'll be his first. It's also the first against Oklahoma State. Thomas Jordan was a Proposition 48 casualty a year ago. A real good player inside and outside. 6'10", 235. He put in uh, a lot of off-season training work and picked up about 20 pounds. Kenny Payne, yes, standing on the line. It was not a three-pointer, but it brings the Cardinals back to within two. And Kenny's been shooting almost 66% from the floor in his last four ball games. Cowboys in the lead. He played three minutes of this game tonight. Jumper outside, three-pointer no good. Ellison has it. Leading rebounder for the Cardinals. He should become this season only. Nice pass inside. Lost, however. Daphne showing that quick speed, and then he passes off to his running mate at guard, Corey Williams, and you talk about a blistering fast break. Yeah, they can move, and four different Cowboys have scored to produce those eight points. Ellison with the ball. I was going to say that Purvis should become only the fourth Cardinal in history, traveling called against Payne, to post a 1,000 rebounds in a career. Now you look at Leonard Hamilton, spent 12 years as an assistant, eight of those as the associate head coach at the University of Kentucky. That record really improving. He got off to an 8 and 22 start his first year. Took the job uh, two days before the national signing period. That made it pretty tough for Coach Hamilton in his first year. Williams with the ball all the way out front. They'll swing it to the right side and let Dumas go one on one. He's got the shot. Richard Dumas, leading scorer for Oklahoma State, averaging 16 points a game. Gives the Cowboys a six-point edge on the Cardinals. Oklahoma State playing with a lot of confidence. Three-pointer. By Tony Kimbrough. That's only his seventh three-point attempt of the season. He's made three now. Oklahoma State, as I mentioned, Dave, confident. And Leonard Hamilton told me last night during their workout that it was very important for the Cowboys to get off to a good start. There's a five-second call. Credit Tony Kimbrough for good defense to make that happen. Cornelius Holden's going to check in, but before he checks in, we're going to check out for this message. The Cowboys lead it over the Cardinals by three. Oklahoma State's been running it up the floor. Here you see Gaffney with a nice pass off to Williams for the easy two. Back to the hall in a moment. There you see Williams, Dave. He's the real floor general. He will run the club now that he's in the lineup. Cornelius Holden blocked. Tried to get it back. Blocked by Byron Houston. He's tied with Jordan with a dozen blocks on the season for the team lead. Smith looked like he picked up a charge. At least the fans thought so. Allison lost the ball out of bounds right off his knee. Quick hands being uh, utilized tonight by the Cowboys. A very young Oklahoma State team. Ten newcomers from last year's team. Six freshmen, two Prop 48 players, and two transfers. Jump right at the top of the key. Yes. That's Jordan. Well, they can shoot it. Allison. Good move by Purvis. Right side baseline. Yes. Allison, the sixth time. All-time scoring leader at Louisville. Nice pass inside. Cornelius Holden got the foul. Cornelius almost got the good block, but it looked like he made body contact. Denny Crum was scolding the freshman. He said, Cornelius, you have to get around him. You can't get caught in this position. We'll watch Holden. You see the looping pass down low. Cornelius just got out of position. Goes up and definitely goes across the arms of Jordan, and that was caused because Holden was not in his proper defensive position. That's why number 30 in the white picked up his first foul. Thomas Jordan, 6'10", sophomore at the line. 80% free throw shooter so, so far this season. This guy averaged 24 points, 12 rebounds in high school. 
boys still have that lead. Louisville never has had the lead in this game. Pass inside, Holden lost it out of bounds. It was tipped first by a cowboy, and then Cornelius touched it last. Fourth Louisville turnover of the game. Well, Dumas, Jordan, and a guy by the name of Johnny Pittman, who I'm sure we'll see, are familiar with Freedom Hall. They all played in the McDonald's Derby Classic here a couple of years ago. Gaffney with a penetration to Dumas, rolls it, offensive no, 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 basket no, 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 interference. It was tipped in, it will not count. That was Byron Houston. You can't hit the ball when it's in the cylinder, obviously. And you'll be able to see from the replay that the ball is still on the orange right there. Louisville basketball. Down by five right now to Oklahoma State. Keith Williams operating against Corey Williams. Hold right in the key. Short. Almost there was an air ball. I don't think it was partially deflected. Felton Spencer's into the lineup for the Cardinals, as you see. Big number 50. It's Louisville basketball. Underneath the Cardinal basket. Tony Kimbrough off the bench will be coming back in momentarily. Felton's averaging seven points and five and a half rebounds and had an outstanding game at a season high 14 points against Dayton. Kenny Payne gets his first rest. As you see, KP going to the bench. Tony Kimbrough back in for Louisville. Keith Williams fakes the shot, gets the man off his feet, banks it off the glass. No. Felton Spencer back up and in. The big seven-footer out of Eastern High School draws Louisville to within three. The pressure has not created really a turnover so far for the Cardinals. Dumas looking into the key. Nobody there. Good move. Defensive move by Keith Williams. To the Bradford. Down the lane. Set up and You talk about a quick move. Wow, by L.A. Yeah, he just exploded to the hoop. That all started by Williams creating the steal on defense. Gaffney inside. Jordan almost lost it. Still trying to gain control. People slapping at the basketball. It goes, did it go out of bounds? Yes, and I believe Holden was touching it. So it'll belong to Oklahoma State. There's a wild scramble for the basketball coming in for the first time tonight. That's Everett Sullivan, the freshman out of South Carolina. He goes in for Keith Williams. Now Keith got his first start of the year, getting some work in, and he needs a rest, and I'm sure he'll be watching things closely over on the bench. Foul. We got a push against Spencer. As soon as the uh, pass went in to the key to Dumas, or to Jordan, rather. He felt complaining a little bit. Teddy Crum has to feel good about the way his team has played, but he said, hey, we gave the guys a couple of days off. Also didn't practice quite as long because it was final exam week. Pass in the lane, shot good. Byron Houston. Oklahoma State getting the ball inside in good position. They're doing a good job of hitting the field goal. Good fake by LaBradford. Super pass inside. Holden with the first slam of the night. Super assist by LaBradford Smith, who was averaging seven assists a game. Had a career-high 11 in one game. Yeah, and Houston doing a good job. Byron Houston, 35, even though he's a forward, helping out against that press in the backcourt. Pass goes inside. Foul called against Spencer. Holden knocked the ball out of there. Leonard Hamilton wants the goal 10, but it's not going to get it here. Well, Spencer, you can see, complaining. What's a good double team? They get it down low to Houston. Houston nails both free throws, and again, the Cowboys are up on Louisville by three. Bruce Smith will bring it up against pressure by Chris Gaffney for Oklahoma State. Pass inside, Ellison, throw it away. Just wanted to get the ball over to Cornelius Holden because Purvis felt the pressure on him. Good idea, fifth turnover against Louisville, but Purvis... Should have hesitated just a moment to make sure he could get the pass there. Oklahoma State's done a good job. There you see again, 35. Houston helping out in the backcourt against the press. Oklahoma State hit seven of their first nine shots by Louisville is seven of 15. Well, it helps when you get the ball in that close. I can tell you that. Roy Jeffrey is averaging eight points a game. Builds the lead back up to five. Kimbrough. Holden. Good hand time. Ellison went for the tip, didn't get it. Pulled out of there by Gaffney for the Cowboys. Baseline jumper, nothing but the bottom of the net. Corey Williams, the lead is seven. Yeah, Oklahoma State just really burying it. They're 
of 11 from the floor. Good shooting tonight against Louisville. Well, there hasn't been a lot of pressure on them when they've shot the ball. No, and they're getting some outside shooting from their guards, and they both guards have been shooting around 30-something percent. Kimbrough, no. And Louisville getting one shot as well. As I mentioned, controlling the boards would be a key in this game. Oh, good pass inside, but Jeffries missed the shot. Ellison with a rebound, and he's fouled. Jeffries is the guy you could call the super sub. He made the Big 8 all-bench team last year. Really one of their most experienced players, David. 6'6", junior out of Soper, Oklahoma. But he's been really most effective for Leonard Hamilton coming off the bench. As we mentioned, Oklahoma State has really been burning the nets. Louisville not quite as successful. Look at that, 75% to 41% here in the first 10 minutes of the first half. Oklahoma State has always led in this first half. Payne back to Kimbrough. Baseline jumper looking for his second three-quarter of the night. Super follow, Everett Sullivan. Great athletic ability displayed by Sullivan as he came running in from the outside to tip it in. Global back within five. Alexander. Over to Williams. Cardinals have to pick up the pressure defensively. Williams baseline. Inside, Ellison made him miss shot, lost out of bounds. When Ellison and Payne collided, it'll still belong to the Cowboys. Well, that's a turnover that Denny Crum will not complain about because his team was aggressive going after the ball. And that man's team, Leonard Hamilton's Cowboys, certainly has been aggressive. Especially on the backboard, Felton Spencer's going to return for Louisville as Tony Kimbrough goes out. Darwin Alexander, excuse me, a fine freshman from Louisiana, one of three on the team. Jumper outside, no. Loose ball, Everett Sullivan chases it down. Nice pass, Keith Williams lays it up. Got it. Nice pass by the freshman, Everett Sullivan. Well, Sullivan is second on the team in assist, Dave. He's averaging three a game. Good double team, almost took it away. Got away, shot, no. Got his own rebound. That's Royce Jeffries back up with the left hand, yes. Royce Jeffries loves the offensive boards. He has more offensive rebounds than defensive rebounds. He's strong. Tough shot, wouldn't fall for Felton Spencer, but he was hammered. Leonard Hamilton taking a lot of time in this game off the bench to work the officials a little bit. Louisville doing a good job of trying to get the ball inside to Felton Spencer. Didn't even touch the rim on either one of those. Louisville back to within three. Pass intended, I believe, for Phil Rollins over there in the first row. Yeah, Phil Rollins or the Cardinal Bird, one of the two, they were both in that area, and Leonard Hamilton was not the least bit pleased with that pass. Everett Sullivan brings it down. He's not bashful about putting that ball up for a freshman. He has shot the ball coming into this game only one fewer time than the Bradford Smith. Oh, ball within one. Cardinals have never led. Royce Jeffrey. Yes, tough shot, or rather Richard Domus. Boy, I tell you what, they gave him just a little bit of daylight, and he saw the basket playing open, took one dribble and popped it in from about 17 feet. He's a good outside shooter as well as an inside player. Purvis, bounce pass inside, Spencer fake, got him up in the air, he shot no, but he's fouled. He's hard to handle. Oklahoma State trying to double team him. If they don't have the size to compete. I think he would have made a pretty good score on his final exam. And now we're going to see a guy that you would never believe is a sophomore and in his first year of college basketball, seven foot, 265, Johnny Pittman from Rosenberg, Texas. Originally signed with UK and did, didn't make the grades and now ended up at Oklahoma State. And he is a man. Oklahoma State. Again, breaks the pressure being used by Louisville defensively. Pass in. Pittman, no. Tipped up, yes. Who got it? Looks like number 35. That's Byron Houston. Yeah, he has seven points in the game. It'll be interesting now, Dave, to watch Spencer and Johnny Pittman. A lot of meat and seven. Two seven-footers going at it here. Williams in. Spencer back to Purvis. Cross court, Everett Sullivan. His jumper, no. Long Karam, Dumas on the move, in the key, drops it off left side, laid up and in, two Cardinals lying on the deck, 
Houston scores for Oklahoma State. The Cowboys are back up by five. That time, two Cardinals tried to take the charge, and as a result, they didn't get it. Houston now four of four from the floor. After they tried to take the charge, that left them open for the easy two. Ellison, turnaround oh jumper, yes. Perfect, God. shooting the Ellison. ball very well this season. 65% from the floor. He's among the leaders in Cardinal history in accurate field goal percentage. Yeah, he's going to be at the top in a lot of the record category. And that pressure finally produced a turnover. Threw the ball straight to Purvis Ellison. Blocked out of bounds by Dumas as Sullivan went up for the jumper. Two substitutions coming in for Cardinals. Bradford Smith and Cornelius Holden. But right now, there's a timeout with 7.04 remaining in the first half. And the Cardinals are shooting for Oklahoma State. Louisville's up to 46% now. Bradford Smith fires it up there. I think when he made his spin move there, he was looking for Spencer trying to drop the ball off to him. Then when he was up in the air, Spencer broke to the basket, so L.A. said, I'll just go ahead and shoot it. Double dribble. Can't do that. Yeah, he lost his dribble, picked it up. Ninth Oklahoma State turnover, and he couldn't dribble it again, of course. You know, a lot of folks watching Jerry Jones talk to the Cardinals at home and also a lot of Holiday parties going on. Hope the people are enjoying the game and certainly having a safe and enjoyable evening watching Cardinal basketball. Folks over at UPS. Spencer, yes! Louisville's first lead as Spencer scores over Johnny Pittman. With Fountain Spencer in the game, Dave, there you see him working against Pittman. He spins, good head fake, goes up strong. Gets the friendly roll, and when that big guy gets that close to the basket, you can see, hey, yeah, I like that. I'll get the ball there. He has seven points in the game already. He's the leading scorer for Louisville in the game. Six straight points for Cardinals. Whoops, make it seven, and I believe he's made five out of five free throws. He has. He has nine points. Let me correct that. 32-30, Louisville taking it strong to the whole traveling call. I thought, the, I thought he traveled with the ball, but I thought the whistle was late against Jordan. Tenth Cowboy turnover, and they're going to quickly get a substitution. They're going to get Dumas back into the game, as you see, 21. 6'7", sophomore from Tulsa. Second team all, Big 8 last year as a freshman. Jordan is going out. He was hot. Yeah, he was. Cardinal basketball, Cardinal lead for the first time tonight. Coming up on the six-minute mark, remaining in the first half. Williams against Alexander over the hole. Back out to Keith, seeing his first action this season. Spencer makes the fake. Traveling call against Dalton Spencer. Only the sixth Louisville turnover in the game. Jordan checks back in for Johnny Pittman. Oklahoma State's had a lot of luck against teams that start with the letter L. Of course, the Cardinals trying to put one in the L column tonight for the Cowboys instead of improving that graphic against the uh, L Louisville Cardinals. All the way back out front to the Cowboys. Gaffney to Williams. Back to Gaffney. Cardinals leading by two. Wide open. Right side. Pull the string on him. Put back. Cup pin in. Heads up play. Iron Houston right in the right spot. And it's the first tie of the game tonight. 32 all. Yeah, Houston leads all scores with 12. LeBradford in and out. No. Gibson comes right back out. And Thomas Jordan collects it. You see how Oklahoma State's doing a very good job on the backboards at both ends? Going for the dunk was Jordan, and the foul is called against Holden. Now Cornelius likes the block shot. A couple of other Cowboys have done a good job blocking shots. You see Kimbrough back into the lineup. Well, that free throw puts the Cowboys back on top again. So Louisville's lead was short live. Oklahoma State by one. Just under five minutes remaining in the first half. 19,300 plus on hand in Freedom Hall tonight. Looking for the Cardinals to win their fifth in a row. They are having their hands full so far with the Cowboys from the Big Eight. Kimbrough. Williams. Payne. Back 
to Keith. Nice give and go. Lays it up and in. Shot it right over Houston. Good play by Kenny Payne. He knew exactly where Williams was going to be and got it right back to Keith for the easy two. Payne went for the steal. Didn't get it. Lost the ball out of bounds. Cowboys trying to pass it at close range. Did not work as well as the Cardinals passing just a moment ago. So it belongs to Louisville. You see the rebounding difference, and we told you the Cowboys doing a good job on the boards. They have out-rebounded their opponents by 12 per game this year. For Bradford, baseline, lost, stripped from it. Boy, what a play by Dumas to take it away. Oklahoma State is quick. They got athletes on this basketball team. I guarantee you. Put up block by Allison. Up to LeBradford. Goes to the left. Lays it up and in. Trying to draw the charge that time. Was Gaffney. He didn't get it. And instead, L.A. puts the Cardinals up by three. And Leonard Hamilton says, wait a minute. Let's slow this team down a little bit. Leonard wants the timeout. He doesn't want to get out of control. It starts on the defensive end with a great block by Purvis Ellison. Watch LeBradford Smith shift gears and have the finger roll go down. And as a result, the Cardinals lead it by 3, 340 left in the first half. Side. Houston out front goes back to Williams. Stolen. Law loose ball picked up by Jordan. His shot no good. Williams has it for the Cardinals. Coming up on the three minute mark, first half. Keith Williams inside Purvis Allison. His jumper no. Rebounded by Dumas and a foul against Kenny Payne. You know, Leonard Hamilton has always recruited great athletes. He had that success at Kentucky. Also at Austin P, where he was assistant under Lake Kelly. This guy really knows how to get athletes and knows the fundamentals of the game. Talking to him last night, he said being a head coach is fun, but you've got to remember, you're in charge of everything, but he feels very good about this team, thinks they'll be competitive in the Big Eight by the end of the year. And boy, that's quite a statement, because keep in mind, you have Oklahoma, you have Missouri, and Kansas, just to name uh, three of the teams that will be outstanding in that Big Eight Conference. Well, this is, as you mentioned earlier, Don, an extremely young basketball team. I mean, of the starting five tonight, two are freshmen, two are sophomores. Gaffney is the junior. That's tough. Yeah, and the breakdown, Dave, is impressive because two of these young men were high school player of the year in Oklahoma. Missed the second one. Dumas winds up with the basketball, however. Can tie the game, and he does. From the baseline. Second tie of the game. 2.45, as you see, and counting, remaining in the first half. It's been tough for the Cardinals. Ellison. Kimbrough trying to set up down low. Payne was stolen by Oklahoma State. Williams, and then to Gaffney. Cowboys can regain the lead here. Gaffney all the way down. Blocked by Ellison. Purvis whips it up to Everick Solomon. Dilla Bradford try to put it up. It was blocked. Knocked out of bounds. It belongs to Louisville. Boy, some great athletic plays on both teams' part. Watch this action. Ellison blocked it. Throws a baseball-type pass up to Sullivan over to LeBradford Smith. Now watch this. Boom! Nice block by Byron Houston. Good recovery on defense to knock that field goal attempt away from Smith. Kenny Payne launches the three-pointer. No good Ellison with a rebound and a foul against the Cowboys. I believe it's against Byron Houston. Boy, I tell you what, it is rough underneath that basket tonight because you have some great leaping athletes going after it. As you see, Jordan picks up his second foul. Jeffries is super sub back in for Oklahoma State as Jordan will go out. 2.16 remaining in the half. Denny Crumb's Cardinals and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State knotted up at 36. Kenny drilled that one. I mean, he had the confidence and he buried it. 
Coming up on the two-minute mark, first half, 38-36. Cardinals lead by two. Louisville has had few leads in this first half. Partially blocked. Good break, however, for Oklahoma State. Lost the ball, another foul as Allison was tipping the ball to himself. He was pushed from behind by Byron Houston. Houston with great quickness like a lot of these Cowboys. He's complaining. He said, hey, I just knocked that ball away cleanly. He doesn't like it a, the least bit that he picked up the personal foul. And this will put Purvis Ellison at the free throw line for the Cardinals. There's a good look at Leonard Hamilton, 40-year-old native of Gastonia, North Carolina. He was the most valuable player in college at University of Tennessee at Martin. Did a great job at Kentucky. One of the impressive stats for Leonard is of the seniors, the recruits that he brought in, 27 of the 33 all earned degrees. So that was uh, pretty impressive for Coach Hamilton. Now, very, very impressive head coach at uh, Oklahoma State. Purvis misses the second free throw and lane violation against Cardinals. So even if he had made it, it would not have counted. But Dave, you know this Oklahoma State program has a lot of tradition. The great Henry Iba, the third winningest coach all time back in the 40s. It was Oklahoma A&M then. He was the first coach to have his team win back-to-back -back national championships. So he had a great program started many years ago. This matches Louisville's biggest lead right now by three over Oklahoma State. Partially deflected, I believe, but a big offensive rebound blocked by Ellison. Purvis says, why, why do you insist on coming in here? That's his third rejection of the game. LeBradford puts it up, and he was fouled. Fouled by Dumas. So the Cardinals can add to their lead at the free throw line with the clock stopped, a minute 21 to go in the first half. Against Dumas was his second for Bradford. 11 out of 12 free throws in the season. Well, he has that touch, doesn't he? <laughs> when he, <laughs> from my vantage point, when he let that free throw go, I didn't sure. think there was a prayer of that yeah. thing going in. Did it, did it look that way? It was going to be short, but it hit the lip of the rim and <laughs> fell over for him. When you have the touch, you have the touch. You got the magic touch. Call him Midas. Louisville's biggest lead in the first half, five right now. Williams. He fires it up. That's no Ellison. Ellison is taken over the board, sports fans. Yep. Everick Sullivan, his jumper is no. However, Dumas with a big rebound for the Cowboys. Ellison on the foul. Silly foul by Purvis. He let the little guy get by him and reached in and tried to slap it away. And that's not the kind of foul you want to get with only 56 seconds to go in the half as he really reached around for the silly one. That's his second foul as well. Holden is in for Spencer. Second personal foul, by the way, against Purvis Ellis. You mentioned a lot of parties going on tonight watching the game. Like to say hello to the folks from UPS. And I think don't you have a uh, anniversary announcement? That's a big party that's going on. 33rd wedding anniversary for Bob and Winnie Townsend of Elizabeth Town, big University of Louisville basketball fans. A part of the family are here tonight. Okay. Kenny Payne saves it. LeBradford keeps it alive. Scramble for it. Added around, and Oklahoma State's got a man wide open who released early, and Jeffrey slams it in. Jeffries. That cuts that Louisville lead very quickly down to two. Louisville's going to probably go for the final shot of the half here, unless they just get a gimme. Shot clock is off, and now LeBradford's going to back it out. Shooting now almost even, 52% to 47. Oklahoma State still with the advantage. They really have the offense spread out now, David, as you see LeBradford look up at the clock, and now he's going to start the motion. Kenny Payne launches a three-pointer. It's way short. It's an air ball. Pulled out of there and thrown the uh, length of the court. He goes out of bounds right at the buzzer for the end of the first half. No cowboy released early to be there to even get the basketball, but it's been an outstanding first half. There's some great athletic ability out on this floor in Freedom Hall tonight. The Cardinals have had very few leads in this game. 41-39 at the half. Louisville looking for its fifth straight win, and we'll be back at Freedom Hall after these messages. 
quitting time, Joan. Heard from the bank yet, Joan? 19 December of 1980, the season after the championship. Bobo by four, early in the second half. Gaffney down to the baseline to Williams. Looking inside for Jordan, can't get him the basketball. There's Houston, offensive charge against Houston. He ran over LeBradford. Well, LeBradford's been trying to pick up this charge all night long and has been complaining that he didn't get the call. Good position by L.A. And now Leonard Hamilton's going to take a timeout as the personal foul goes against Dumas. And we'll return to Freedom Hall with the Cardinals leading by four, 18-29 left in the game. I'm Frank Arnold. From all of us at Prudential Heating and Air Conditioning, I would like to wish all of you a very happy holiday season. Louisville leading by four, but Oklahoma State showing a lot of great athletic ability in this game tonight. And the evidence of that is an outstanding play to begin this second half. Here you see Williams, top of the key, it goes to Dumas. Watch this alley-oop, and then the slam dunk by Thomas Jordan. Excellent teamwork by Oklahoma State. Leonard Hamilton doing a good job with his youthful club and gaining confidence more and more each game. Global basketball. Cowboys put on some defensive pressure in the backcourt, but Williams brings it into the front court. Played a minute and a half of the second half, level by four. Ellison trying to post up inside, pass intercepted, taken by Jordan. Came over from the weak side to help out against Ellison. Down to Houston. A little bit off balance. Out to LeBradford Smith, it's a foot race. Williams and Gaffney, Williams, great hustle. Corey Williams, super hustle. L.A. knew that Gaffney was on his right side, but he did not know Williams was on his left. I tell you what, we have some guys that can run up and down the hardwood. Well, that time, Williams came out of nowhere like a free safety trying to chase down a receiver on a touchdown run and slapped it away from L.A. Would have been an easy basket for LeBradford Smith. Right inside to Kimbrough, lost the ball. Taken away by Richard Gomez. Tough basketball game tonight for the Louisville Cardinals. Jumper outside. Yes, three-pointer by Gomez. A three-point goal for Richard Gomez. And it's a one-point Louisville lead. 17 and a half to go. Kimbrough fade away. Rolls right across the rim and Jordan. Pulls down the rebound. Cowboys can regain the lead here for the first time in the second half. Inside, Jordan puts it up. Yes, foul. Oklahoma State doing what Louisville did when they grabbed the lead in the first half, and that's getting the ball inside. As you see, a good baseline pass down to Jordan, and the big guy works against Tony Kimbrough. Kimbrough gets his second foul, and Jordan gets the friendly roll and will go to the line. Oklahoma State's first lead of the second half. Foul. And it's against Gaffney. That is his first of the game. And it's the first of the second half against the Cowboys. So Louisville will take the ball out of bounds. Watch for the jumper at the top of the key. Now on the wing. Kenny Payne. No. Rebounded L.A. right in the lane. Puts it up, yes. Shot it right over. 6'10", Thomas Jordan. L.A. just hung up there, and we're tied again. Off the right side, Jordan. Thomas Jordan at 6'10". 
is really hustling up and down the floor. Ellison. Good jump hook, yes. Impossible to block. Tied again. Look at this team run. Laid up, blocked by Ellison. Taken right back, put it up again. Blocked by Purvis. Payne trying to chase it down. Couldn't get to it in time, but the fans love it. Ellison very active defensively now in blocking shots. Watch Purvis Ellison come up, get a piece of it there for a block, and they're going to come back in against Purvis, and he said, no, you're not coming in here, as he blocks it away with a left hand. Ellison goes out as Felton Spencer checks into the game. Turnover difference, pretty much even. Now add another one to that top part of the graphic to the Cowboys. Ellison coming back in. Kenny Payne will get a breather. We're tied 49 all. So Ellison and Spencer both will be in the game. Purvis helping out in the backcourt against some mild cowboy pressure. Spencer also into the lineup right now along with Cornelius Holden, Bradford Smith, Keith Williams, and Purvis Ellison for the Louisville Cardinals. Williams takes left, goes right, his jumper, nails Williams. He's having a good game. He has eight points and three assists. Not a bad return, is it? No, he's four out of six from the floor. Now the crowd's starting to get into it. Leonard Hamilton wanted to keep him out of it. Purvis went for the steal, didn't get it. Fans went traveling, laid up and in. I believe it was Williams. Corey Williams. Corey Williams. For Oklahoma State, we're tied again. Played a little bit over four minutes of the second half. And Nothing has been proven so far except this game's liable to get out of the wire. Ellison, Williams, Felton Spencer posting up inside. Ellison in the lane, his jumper, no. Cornelius Holden, jump ball, the possession arrow points Louisville's way. Now well, some of the faithful a little bit restless here in Freedom Hall tonight, but the possession arrow and indeed pointing toward the Cardinals before Dave Isaac switches it the other way. So first of all, before LeBradford Smith throws it in, there one Alexander, one of three outstanding Louisiana high school products on this Oklahoma State team. He was considered the top point guard in the state of Louisiana. Williams, left side, yes, and a foul is called against Alexander who just came into the game. Keith doing a very good job of being selective on his shots. Here you see him get it on the baseline, directing traffic, goes up, squares to the basket, gets it down, and draws the foul and will go to the line. Williams in double digits now with 10. The Bradford Smith leads Louisville with 12 points. There's a late whistle, too, on the foul. I didn't see that much contact. Everick Sullivan off the bench. He'll be coming in momentarily as Williams nails the free throw, completes the three-point play. And Louisville leads by three. And Keith Williams gets a breather. Yeah, Keith, as I mentioned, has been practicing, Dave, but conditioning for game play is much different than conditioning for a practice situation. Alexander over to Gaffney, looking inside, instead wide open on the baseline. Jumper, no good. Spencer fighting for it. Ellison fighting for it. Knocked out of bounds. And it is Oklahoma State's ball. That was right in front of the Oklahoma State bench. Denny Crum said, hey, you made the wrong call. But Leonard Hamilton said, hey, that was the proper call, and the big guys are on the back of my players. Coaching's Jeffries. been important tonight. Jeffries triggers it in to Alexander. All the way out front, and they'll swing it around the right side, trying to get the ball inside to Jordan. Taken away, LeBradford Smith. Up to Everett Sullivan. Sullivan puts it up. No, and he's hammered. The foul is against Jeffries. Everett had a hard time catching up and getting control of that basketball. Smith made a nice pickup on the defensive end. There you see it looked to be maybe a travel. The fans thought so. LeBradford bounce pass up to Everett. See, Everett has to wait for the ball and tries a circus shot. Doesn't get it, but he was fouled by Jeffries. Probably should have dished the ball off to L.A. Everett has five points in the game. He's averaging ten and a half points a game. 
60 percent free throw shooter coming into tonight this is the second one Louisville's lead is four now 14 and a half to go in the game Jordan on the baseline picked up by Spencer and he walks with a basketball he, he needed help and nobody came to help he's trying to get away from Felton and went for a walk 15 turnovers now on Oklahoma State in the game and now the Cowboys are going to apply some full court pressure. That's the story here at Freedom Hall. Don Russell and Dave Conrad bringing you live Cardinal basketball action. Well, Brad, right through the lane. Hit it. And a foul call. It's against Royce Jeffries. L.A. just made that happen on his own. Watch LeBradford Smith. You see him. Good crossover dribble. Goes up strong. Hangs in the air. Draws the foul. Knocks it down. And will go to the line from a different angle. See the good crossover? That's what created Smith the opportunity to penetrate here. A little tip foul by Jeffries. And LeBradford was able to concentrate enough to get it down. And now we will try to cap the three-point play. We were tied 51 all just one minute ago, so the Cardinals have ripped off seven straight points. Good double team didn't work. Cowboys got rid of it too quickly. That was a smart move. Inside against Spencer. Yes, it'll count, and there's a foul. Boy, good, strong move, David, by Byron Houston. This Oklahoma State team, as we've mentioned, really good athletes. Watch this strong move. Backing in against Spencer, Felton reaches in, gets the contact, and a nice touch by Byron Houston. Great rebounder. He's been in double figures every game and now has 14 tonight, make it 15 by my count. Louisville's lead down to four. 14-12 and counting to go in the game tonight. This is the third meeting between those two, be between these two teams. Allison, nice pass. Spencer jams it home! Foul on the shot. Foul is against Dumas. Well, the Twin Towers, Ellison, double team, good bounce pass. Look at that accord awareness to Spencer for the jam job. Watch Ellison, two guys, so he said, hey, I'll find the chief. And Felton Spencer gets a slam dunk and will go to the line where he's been perfect there tonight. Completes the three-point play. Louisville's biggest lead of the game, seven. Oklahoma State almost did lose it. Spencer came up to tip it away. Everett Sullivan behind the head. Nine point Louisville lead. Leonard Hamilton will probably take a timeout, try to get the crowd out of the game. Listen to him. Saved by Curtis. It'll belong to Louisville. The Cardinals have made a spurt here. We were tied at 51 all, and Louisville's on a 12 to 3 run right now and hustling defensively. Spencer to Purvis to Sullivan. 13 33 to go. There's a timeout, and the Cardinals are on the move. You can see graphically both teams shooting extremely well, but the momentum is in favor of the Cardinals, and the crowd really got into it, into it, and Leonard Hamilton wisely took his third of four timeouts allotted in a televised game. A nine-point Louisville advantage. Spencer double-team LeBradford lost control momentarily. In the past two minutes, the Cardinals have outscored the Cowboys 12 to three. Holden, left side, Sullivan, wide open, no. Spencer had the ball momentarily, but the Cowboys come out of there with it. Oklahoma State has to be patient right now. You can't get all the points back at one time, and you just have to chip away at this Louisville lead and be patient. Don't panic. Jordan, baseline, that's what they needed right there. That's a oh tough shot, God. David. You, you know, it looked like, oh, well, he got another basket, and Jordan has that's 16. It really was. He was down on the baseline. Louisville did a good job on defense. He just jumped above the defense and stuck it in the hole. A Bradford foul as he made his move to the baseline, fouled by Gaffney. You know, one of the things, too, that Oklahoma State has dealt with very well 
is really now with Keith Williams back. You're talking about a 10-man rotation, basically, for the Louisville Cardinals. Holden goes out as Kimbrough's back in. We might add, too, David Robinson not in uniform tonight. He has a sinus infection, but I think also David has not yet decided whether he'll redshirt or not. And primarily, Leonard Hamilton of Oklahoma State has gone with seven people. Yeah, we haven't seen Johnny Pittman, but, but just a few minutes in that first half. That is the first free throw miss tonight, but there is Tony Kimbrough on the follow. Tony's a guy that has been very consistent. He has seven points tonight. He's averaging 10 points and six rebounds, but he's not quite as flashy, and he's gotten, been a little bit lost in the shuffle of fine play. Williams had some heat that time. Jumper, tough oh, shot. Tell you what, this guy is an All-American candidate. Easy, 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 easy. That is two straight difficult shots made by the Cowboys. Tried to force it in that time, but Kenny Payne was there to rescue it. Dumas going for the steal. Loose ball. Knocked out of bounds by Spencer. <laughs> Leonard Hamilton lost his jacket on that one. He was really upset. He's down to his dress shirt. He has his tie loosened up a little bit. He couldn't believe it. He's been working the officials pretty hard tonight. Denny Crum has had his word or two to him. Bench scoring. Now there you see the depth difference and Oklahoma State staying in this game because of their defense. Dumas jumper no and a foul inside. Loose ball trying to set up for the rebound and it's against Louisville for holding. Is it Spencer? Yes. That's four. Now Purvis Ellison's going to jump back up off the bench. Purvis not in double figures. He has only seven points in the game, but does have eight rebounds as Ellison replaces Spencer. Belton goes out with 12. The Bradford Smith leading Louisville with 15. Thomas Jordan leading Oklahoma State with 16. Cowboy basketball. There's Jordan with the ball. Brings it back out to Williams. Back to Jordan. He has a hot hand, but Ellison puts the flame out on that hot hand with a block. Purvis has had, what, a handful of blocks tonight? I think that's four for Ellison. Kenny Payne, three-pointer. Yeah. Ten-point Louisville lead. Biggest lead of the game for the Cardinals. Kenny's been red hot from three-point land. He was 10 of 18 coming into the game tonight. Coming up on the 11-minute mark remaining in the game. Good fake. Foul Ellison. Purvis doesn't like it. Fans don't like it. Then he doesn't like it. Then he says, hey, he was holding his hand straight up in the air. Not going to commit a foul. A lot of people complain about these kind of calls because of that rule of verticality. If you're standing there with your hands in upright position, supposedly the defensive player is supposed to have the right to that space. Coach Crum and the fans complaining that Ellison did have position and the contact was actually initiated by Byron Houston, but it wasn't uh, detected that way, so Houston goes to the line and he's had a good night. He has 16 points. Both free throws are perfect. Louisville's lead is eight. Sullivan, the freshman. Bringing the basketball up against Gaffney. Sullivan at 6'5". Excellent quickness. Yeah, very much so. A matter of fact, all of these guys on the floor tonight are just terrific athletes. Paint wide open. Missing. Loose ball. Gaffney. Foul against Kenny Payne. Going for the offensive rebound. Trying to chase that ball down. Collects the foul. The foul is on Payne. Number 21 is second. That is the fifth. second against Kenny and the fifth against Louisville in the second half. Purvis has five block shots in this game. He has 20 over the last three games. Almost threw it away. Gaffney wasn't looking for the return pass. Ellison helps to create the steal for Louisville. Kimbrough, up court, Kenny Payne. It's a four on two. Keith Williams fakes, puts it up. Nope, not enough. Tipped up, no. Nope. Battle for the ball. Williams has it again on the baseline. Puts it up, no, and a foul. Keith Williams hustling, Louisville hustling just to keep the ball alive on the offensive board. A lot of good offensive board work this time by the Cardinals. They certainly were very aggressive underneath the basket. Williams was in the middle of that on a couple of occasions. And I'm sure Coach Crum was telling his team at halftime that, hey, you're going to have to be aggressive on the offensive boards. Of course, you don't need offensive rebounds if you're shooting a red-hot percentage, but that's not going to always happen. 
Keith has 12 tonight. He drops this one in and will tie Louisville's biggest lead, and it does. Louisville's biggest lead again at 10 points. Checking back in is Royce Jeffries, and he comes in for Richard Dumas. We've played almost half of the second half now. Louisville had a two-point advantage at halftime. Right now, the Cardinals are up by 10. Jordan, all the way across court, inside. Alexander fakes Purvis, got the foul on Purvis, got him off his feet. Sullivan raises his hand, says, call it on me. Hey, Mr. Referee, call it on me. I'll take the foul. That didn't work, but it did not work. <laughs> Everett's still trying to take it, but he's not going to be able to get it. That's four on Ellison as he'll walk out. Cornelius Holden checks back in. That's a critical factor because Ellison and Spencer both now on the bench with four. Even though Louisville leads by 10, there's 10-17 left in the game. I would assume that Cornelius Holden will be in the middle in terms of playing that center position. And you can look for Oklahoma State to go to Jordan more and more. Alexander on the jumper. No, my goodness, was he up in the air to get that rebound? I mean, Jeffries. Whoa. It looked it, like Peter Pan. It looked like he just came down from, a, from the, uh, the top of Freedom Hall. He's got a great vertical jump. We saw it there. Williams needs some help. There's it to Kimbrough. Under the 10-minute mark now, remaining in the game. Louisville by eight. But Purvis Ellison and Felton Spencer both on the bench with four personal fouls apiece. Holden lost the ball, taken away. Williams on the move. Williams defensively nudges him, and the ball would not fall for him. If you're going to make the foul, make sure the man does not score the basket. Yeah, Keith probably should have just backed off there because that was a great opportunity as you watch Holden lose it and watch Williams on the run. This is Kerry Williams getting bumped by Keith Williams. And you can see Kerry, or Corey rather, was very upset that he didn't get the roll. Now Williams, Keith for Louisville goes out as LeBradford Smith checks back into the Cardinal lineup. Basketball game a long way from being over tonight. Oh yeah. And you can bet Leonard Hamilton and his troops know that this is a great opportunity to make up some ground with the two big guys on the bench in foul trouble. Gets both free throws. Louisville's leads down to six. And pressure. Well, Bradford winds up with the basketball and brings it into the front court. You see the time remaining in the game. Sullivan left side. Kimbrough lets it fly. Kimbrough missed. Rebounded by Thomas Jordan. Now he's the 6'10 sophomore. Look for the Cowboys to try to get it inside to him. On him will be Cornelius Holden. There's the pass inside. Turns. Had the double team on him. Missed the shot. Rebound. Offensively oh scored by Byron man. Houston. And Louisville's lead is down to four very quickly. Byron Houston has a new season. And, of course, for the freshman, a career high of 19. Louisville's gone to the zone with the two big guys out. And... Oklahoma State really taking advantage of the fact that the Cardinals in foul trouble and now a turnover against Louisville. It'll be an illegal pick. Kenny Payne, I think. It is. And the Cowboys are in the one and one. Well, you know, we mentioned the fact earlier, Dave, in that first half. Remember that little reach in foul that Ellison got right before the halftime? Now that's, can't you see why that's a silly foul? Because he would be on a bench maybe with three. But they're going to come back with Felton Spencer anyway as Kenny Payne will go out. Payne has three personal fouls. The Cardinals in a heap of trouble and foul difficulty tonight. Gaffney, good free throw shooter, made five out of six coming into the game tonight. And that's his first point in this contest. He drops this one in. <clears throat> Excuse me, it will be eight straight points by the Cowboys after Louisville had increased its lead to 10. <laughs> Missed it, however, so the lead is three. Cardinal basketball. Cornelius Holden out for Bradford Smith, right in the keys, being held. Gaffney had a hold of him. Thought he was trying to put an arm bar on him for a moment. And Gaffney tries to put the cuffs on LeBradford Smith. As you can see, he has three personals now. Holden kicking it back out to LeBradford Smith. As L.A. started that penetration, little reach in. And the contact and the foul. And 
Could have been a travel that time on LeBradford prior to that foul, though. In Freedom Hall, Don. Against LeBradford, we wouldn't travel. Couldn't think of it, huh? Ooh, that's a rare miss for LeBradford, a 90% plus free throw shooter. Yeah, he's missed two tonight. Four point Louisville lead. You see the time remaining. Gaffney fakes the shot, moves in the three point, inside the three point circle, and cuts that Louisville uh, lead down to two. Gaffney, the real glue, saw the opening and put it in. Good pass, LeBradford. Kimbrough throws it up. No. Spencer went for it. LeBradford there, fighting for the basketball. He just took it away from Thomas Jordan to score. Big basket, L.A. Yeah, good pickpocket job that time by LeBradford. He just wanted that ball and got it back. Torrey Williams in the front court now for Oklahoma State. Louisville's lead is four. Under the eight-minute mark. This is a game. Jordan, what do you do? Travel. Travel. Big call. If the call had Time gone against Spencer, he'd be out of here. That's 20 turnovers against the Cowboys. No, but that was a big one there by OSU. Louisville basketball, Louisville lead. Cardinals by four on the Cowboys. Sullivan to L.A. Spencer spins, fakes, fakes, puts it up too hard. Cornelius Holden has it, puts it back. Leaves it in. Louisville back up by six. Big offensive board work. 14th offensive rebound tonight by Louisville. Four points for Cornelius Holden. He reminds me of a small Charles Jones, the way he fights inside and gets up so quickly. Foul against Holden that time. He got up quickly that time to try to block the shot by very quickly. And get that ball inside. Just force the ball inside. Tell you what, this team, Oklahoma State, especially considering the youth playing with a great deal of uh, believability in their own effort to win this game tonight. Of course, Louisville, by many counts, uh, 20, 21 point favorite. I knew from word go that wouldn't be the case at all, and I'm sure Denny Crum did as well. Coming up on the seven minute mark remaining in the game, Louisville's biggest lead has been 10 points. Right now, the margin is only four. LeBradford Smith really, really has taken over the game and made things happen over the past couple of minutes. Yeah, he has. He has 20 points. That's a season high for him. Almost threw it away, the Cowboys. Corey Williams out to Gaffney. These two guards for the Cowboys are super quick. Royce Jeffries, baseline, dips in, comes out. Spencer had it. He was fouled, and it wasn't called. But the ball goes out of bounds, and it belongs to Louisville. Yeah, Byron Houston knocked it away from Spencer. Leonard Hamilton liked that aggressive play. Many people here thought it should have been a foul, but with 6.38 remaining and a six-point Louisville lead, Cardinals have a chance to increase it. Spencer, 14 feet away from the basket, needs some help. Get rid of it, Felton. Oh, nope. five-second call against Felton. See, there was a case where Felton, all he needed to do was dribble the ball once, and he gets a new count. Felton was just holding the ball. He hadn't dribbled. And as a result, since he didn't dribble, they created a 16th Louisville turnover in the game. That's all he had to do then when he got a new count on the five seconds. Jordan inside, foul against Holden, reaching. Makes the second free throw. Five point Louisville advantage. Cardinals have always led here in the second half. But it's been tough. Kenny Payne lets it fly, no. Short off the front of the rim. Royce Jeffries released early. He lays it up and in. Louisville's lead is only three. And Kimbrough jumps off the bench oh at Denny Crum's orders. Jeffries. Too many guys inside. Jeffries did release early. And as a result, nobody back on the Cardinal defense to help out. The Bradford Smith right in the lane. Just hangs there. Didn't get the roll, however. Corey Williams comes out of there with it for Oklahoma State. Cardinals leading by only three. Less than six minutes to go. Cowboys can cut into the lead even more. Looking inside for Jordan. Not there. Foul. It was, a, uh, it was a shot that was an air ball. Blocked by Cornelius Holden. Blocked out of bounds. Still belongs to Oklahoma State. Kimbrough will check in for Louisville, and he'll replace Kenny Payne. There you see Jeffries. Shot an air ball, follow up by Williams, and rejected by Cornelius Holden. He can really get up. Gaffney over to Jeffries. Cowboys down by three. 
fake, taken away by Everett Sullivan. Super defensive play. The freshman clears it up court. Kimbrough. Louisville trying to pad its three-point advantage. The Bradford Smith just ears out the ball from three-point range. Almost NBA three-point range. Bradford's at 7 out of 10 from the floor and has 23 points. Stolen by Louisville. Everick Solomon. Laid up and in. Kimbrough and a foul. Big turnover against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Big spurt by the Louisville Cardinals. There you see it all happens on defense. Stolen away by Cornelius Holden. Good feed to Kimbrough. Tony takes it strong to the basket. Draws the foul and will go to the line. Here again, knocked away by LeBradford Smith to begin that turnover, and it ends up in the hands of Tony Kimbrough via Everett Sullivan. Good break, good defense by the Louisville Cardinals. Alexander back into the Cowboy lineup as Gaffney will take a seat. Here comes Purvis Ellison. He has four personal fouls, and he'll be coming back into the game Right now for Louisville, he's coming in for Felton Spencer. Purvis, a senior. Seasoned enough to be able to play 455, hopefully, without collecting a foul. Kimbrough completes the three-point play, and it's a nine-point Louisville advantage. Big spurt here. Thomas in the key blocked by Purvis goaltending call and Denny from explodes well you like to put on your striped shirt and whistle you make the call is that ball on the way down well they both got up so high above the rim pretty difficult to tell now a different angle the crossover the block oh that's tough that's just a tough call to make Ellison up of the left hand it was blocked uh, rejected by Byron Houston for Oklahoma State. One of the big shot blockers for the Cowboys this season. Blocked by Ellison. Jumper right in the key. No. Tipped up. No. Purvis has the rebound. Clears it out to Keith Williams. LaBradford. Oh, to Tony Kimbrough. Got a break there. Partially deflected on the shot by Sullivan, however. And the Cowboys have it. What a ball game. Corey Williams, quick move. Offensive foul, the basket will count. He ran over LeBradford Smith. What a super quick lightning move by Corey Williams. Look at this. Watch Corey Williams. Again, the crossover. Allison is not going to pick up the foul. And a lean in to LeBradford Smith. So give the basket to Williams. He has 10 points as Jeffries checks back in for OSU. And the Bradford Smith will go to the line for the one and one. The Bradford has 23 points. That's a season high for L.A. Johnny Pittman is also in now for Oklahoma State. And the Bradford's hit six out of eight at the free throw line. It's unusual for him. Yep. One and one. For those of you that wonder, and probably most of you remember that. The career high for the sophomore out of Bay City, Texas, Smith, 32 points against Indiana a year ago. Nails them both. Louisville up by seven, exactly four minutes to go. Double team did not take the ball away. Yes, it did. LeBradford comes out of there with it. Going to take it to the hole, and he's fouled. Right as he crossed the free throw line, the foul is against Darwin Alexander. So again, LeBradford will go to the charity strike, the best free throw shooter on the team, and that defensive pressure is winning this basketball game for Louisville. There you see Jeffries trying to dribble in a crowd and watch LeBradford try to go between two Cowboys and a little reach in from behind. Creates the foul for Oklahoma State, and Smith will go back to the line. And now Leonard Hamilton's going to come back in with Jordan and Houston and Gaffney. So three new Cowboys into the lineup. With 3.53 left, Louisville leading 85-78. LeBradford Smith will try to add to that cushion right now. Three fifty-three to go. Bradford Smith 
one more free throw. That'll give Louisville a nine-point lead, and it dips in and comes out. The lead is only eight. Oklahoma State basketball. LA's missed three freebies tonight. Louisville sets up in a zone this time. Jumper, 15-footer, good. By Byron Houston. Houston has 21 points, and Oklahoma State did a good job of recognizing the zone. Houston spun around and saw himself wide open and just buried the 16-foot shot. This game's up for grabs. Sullivan goes back door, jams it in there. Nice pass from LeBradford Smith. Everett Sullivan, a freshman smart enough to know that the man was overplaying the passing lane and just went back door on him. That's a super move by a freshman. Three-pointer. Yeah, now it's a rainbow shot because Allison went way outside to try to block it. Corey Williams nails the three-pointer. Louisville by five, as you see. You see the time left. Allison. Free throw line, straight out. Looking inside, needs some help. Over to Kimbrough, lets it fly, jumper no. Rebounded Gaffney. It's a five-point Louisville lead, but it's Cowboy basketball. Gaffney and Williams, who started the game at guards, running the show right now for the Cowboys. Alley-oop, and he made the shot. Yeah. <laughs> the ball went in. Dumas says, hey, I was trying to pass it, but he threw it in. I believe that. I thought that was Dumas that threw it in. They said it was Jordan. Jordan never touched the ball. The ball went straight in the basket. 2.21 to go in the game. There's a timeout here in Freedom Hall. And this one's up for grabs. Folks, look at this. Goes straight in the basket, I thought. 88-85, Louisville by three. Be right back. Come to Bacon's for holiday savings on Lee Glacier Wash jeans. Acid washed for a fantastic dark denim finish. Lee Jr. G. Gaffney tips it forward to Corey Williams. Oklahoma State basketball. Cowboys trailing the Cardinals by three. Great defensive play by Oklahoma State. This will tie it. No. Spencer had it. Didn't have it. Corey Williams shot. No. Followed in on the jam by Thomas Jordan. It's a one-point game. Louisville's lead. 19 points for Jordan, and I mean, he just really exploded on the follow-up, and we're going to see Kenny Payne check back in. A minute 45 and counting remaining in the game. The possession arrow, by the way, points Oklahoma State's way. Ellison misses the shot. Spencer bad chases shot. down the loose ball. That's a bad shot. Purvis had no reason to take that shot from the outside. Spencer clears it. LeBradford lets it fly. No. And a foul. It's against Oklahoma State. Number 35, Houston, pulled Spencer down to the floor. And that's not an easy task. Believe me, you need a crane to do that. But that is a big call if Spencer can convert the free throws. That's going to be it for Byron Houston. He will leave with 21 points and 10 rebounds. And this guy is a freshman out of Spencer, Oklahoma. He was the high school player of the year in Oklahoma a year ago, and boy, is he going to be a good one. He's going to pick up where Dumas left off last year after his initial season. Good things for that guy and Leonard Hamilton before this year is over, I guarantee you. Jeffries will check in, and also Johnny Pittman. Leonard Hamilton says this guy is only a 50% free throw shooter. What's he doing knocking in seven in a row? How about eight? Clutch free throw shooting by Spencer. Three point, Louisville advantage. Minute 15 and counting to go in the game. Corey Williams, right side, brings it all the way out to Gap. You see the time remaining. Louisville's lead is three. The possession arrow does belong to the Cowboys. Louisville in a zone. Loose ball. Scramble for it on the deck. Saves it. Brings it back out front. Corey Williams takes it to the hall. Locked away. Offensive charge against Corey Williams. Big ball in Louisville's favor. Watch for more ball handling and really better free throw shooting on the year. You see the foul trouble and Houston has already left the game. Super steal by Dumas. 
down the floor. Taken away by Love Radford Smith, and Tony Kimbrough winds up with it. Dumas tried to go behind the back, a little bit too clever. Williams double team. Oklahoma State wants the foul. Denny Crum says spread it out. Keith Williams. Left side, Kimbrough. Kimbrough is hammered with 19 seconds to go. Well, you know, they put in the intentional foul rule that I thought was a bad rule to put in anyway because it's strictly a judgment call. And you, everybody knows in their own mind that Oklahoma State Leonard Hamilton was shouting, foul him, foul him, foul him. If you're trying to foul him, obviously that's intentional. But they were going for the line Louisville by three. Checking in for Oklahoma State is Billy Dreyer, number 15. Good three-point shooter. That's why he's in the game, because Oklahoma State, down by four now, is going to probably need a three-point effort. Louisville will set back in the defense. Maybe a zone, but Denny Crum's saying right now, no fouls, no fouls. Kimbrough dips it in, and it comes out on him. They need a three. Oklahoma State down by three. Corey Williams lets it fly, and he got it. Over Purvis. Ellison with 10 seconds to go. Cardinals by L.A. releases, gets the pass, and he's fouled. Fouled right at midcourt with eight seconds remaining. Stances. 